Hello, friends. Welcome to Ask Pals. Today, we are going to talk about feelings and how we take care of those feelings. We all have many feelings inside, and having different feelings is okay. But it's what we do with our feelings that makes the difference. And I have a special friend who will come out and tell us what we can do when we have big feelings. Let's sing the song. Do you know who that friend is? How will you come out? How will you come out? How will you come out to talk with us? We're sitting calmly. There's no fuss. How will you come out to talk with us? I need to remind you that when Al comes out, we sit quietly. We don't make any fuss, and most importantly, we don't interrupt Al. We show him what a good friend we are. Okay. Hi, Al. Hi. It's nice to see you again. I need to tell you what happened to me. Yesterday, I had really strong feelings. My friend walked by with his new baby kitten. The kitten was cute and cuddly. I wanted to hold it so bad. He wouldn't let me. I really got mad. I shouted at him. Just let me hold it for a minute. I almost grabbed the kitten out of his arms. The kitten was so tiny and cute that I really wanted to hold it, but he didn't ever let me. That made me so angry. When he left, I was still very mad. I really needed to calm down. Do you know what I did? I found a quiet, calm place, the soft chair in my room. I went and sat there for a while and relaxed. And thought. Pretty soon, I wasn't angry anymore. I still wished I could have held the kitten, but I wasn't feeling angry anymore. Do any of you have a quiet place at home where you can calm down or be by yourself for a while to relax and think? Hmm. Oh, that's a good question for Miss Choi. I think it's on her bed. That's a good option. Some of our friends can go outside and stay by a tree, or in the kitchen, or in the living room, in a quiet place. Do you think it would be nice to have a quiet, calm place in your classroom where you could go when you need to be by yourself for a little while? Yeah, Al, that sounds really nice. And Miss Choi thinks it's a good idea too. She wants to call this special place Al's place. I really like that. Do you? Good. Oh my! It's time for me to go already. But after I leave, I'm sure your teacher will tell you all about the Al's place that I set up over there in your classroom, right there. Listen carefully so you can tell me about it next time I visit. Goodbye. All right, ready to sing the Bye Bye Al song. Thank you so much for coming here, Al, today. Now it's time to say goodbye. Bye bye, Al. Bye bye. This is how much running by. Bye bye, Al. Bye bye, bye. Bye. Bye, Al. Bye, bye, everybody. I'll see you next time. Okay, boys and girls. That's so nice of nice of Al to come and visit us. Al's place is a new special place in our room, and it's not a play area like blocks or the house center. It's a special quiet place to go and sit with pictures, a pillow, and maybe a stuffed animal to hug. 
In our classroom, we have it right next to the library. We have some chairs here. We have some reading bodies, which are the stuffed animals you can hold. You should only go to the owl's place for a short time if you have one, big feelings, or two, when you need to calm down, or three, when you need to be by yourself for a little while, or four, if you have a problem with someone and you both want to quietly talk it over. You could go to Al's place, not to play, but to talk about the problem calmly. When you're in Al's place, you're not playing. You're sitting quietly, relaxing and thinking and helping yourself feel better. If you get left out or get upset, where could you go until you start to feel better? Al's place. You don't have to wait or ask me to use Al's place. As long as you use it correctly, you can go there on your own whenever you need to. Using Al's place is your choice. And when we go, when we come back to the classroom, Ms. Cho will take you a tour through the classroom and I will help you. I will let you stay in the Al's classroom for Al's place for a few minutes so that you can feel what it is like to be there. It's nice. It's a special, quiet, and calm place. And Miss Choi uses it sometimes too when she feel when she has some be when she has some be big feelings. All right, well, friends, so nice to see you all today, and I hope he'll come back next week. Bye, friends.